Welcome to yet another StarCraft II co-op mutation solo. This is called Blind Tribute. The mutators active are short-sighted, which does not affect Janara here, thus allowing your units to see because of Janara. And Killbots, one of the worst mutators in all of StarCraft II co-op. Killbots require you to feed and you they require you to allow them to kill your units. In other words, you have to feed them units for them to go away. So you're pretty much for when this mutator is active, you pretty much have to play as a Zerg commander or Stukov. Stukov is technically Zerg, but whatever. Um yeah, you are not going to be doing this with a Protoss or pretty much any Terran. Because, oh, and here I resumed playing. I messed up the beginning part here. This was done a while ago. So, obviously, I go with my classic Lord of the Horde. The, the most fun Stukov Prestige IMO. And, obviously, the only one worth using here. You can see the murder bot deal with Protoss today. So yeah, Apocalypse goes goes there, kills the attack wave. We have this murder bot. Yeah, see, one, two, three, four, five, and it goes down. Also, the broodlings that come out of infest structure get killed in one hit by kill bots, so that's wonderful. Um, as the game goes on, we will get bigger and stronger kill bots that require you to sacrifice more of your own units to get rid of them. They also do more damage to your actual army, so... Yeah. Luckily, these guys decided, oh, I'm just going to come back to the base, even though I'm supposed to be supporting Amon's champion here. Yeah. And these men are just there to be fed to the kill bot. Now, here's something a little unfortunate. I got this... I failed to get the seven-minute wave, and I... I failed to push Janara in, up there in time to stop the seven minute wave, and I got the hybrid spawn as well. But at least I got rid of all the... the things. I lost my... tech lab, which is very unfortunate, but if I... Okay, well, I got both of these upgrades, so that's all I really care about. <laughs> Just lift the barracks up, infest it, and then put it back down. And now we're sitting on a nice, healthy ball of marines that the bunkers generate for free. I think in that failed attempt, I tried fast expanding before having a, an economy to feed killbots. Goodbye. Oh, and here we have a stronger bot, the death bot, which, as you, as you could see there, it requires you to kill lose 10 units in order to get rid of it. And here's where short-sighted is a bit of a problem. My units are getting kill killed before they can really do a whole lot. Meanwhile, we just feed or just feed these uh, broodlings from infrastructure. Call in the Alexander to force our way in here. I will mention that with uh, short-sighted, if you, if the Alexander controls a air unit, like a carrier or something, that unit that you mind control will have full vision, so you can cancel, uh, you can kind of cancel 
short-sighted for a little bit. But alas, I'm against a ground comp. Actually, I think we can see that with the Col with a Colossus later. Just rally up to the elemental, kill it. I got rid of that bunker because my stuff was out of position. So I was going for the bonus. And yeah, this basically goes on for the whole game. Oh, and you can see now we're getting three, uh, three bots spawning at once. I'm not even focused over here. You know, you knew I infested the structure. You knew I fed broodlings to the target. And here I, oh yeah, here I have the idea to build bunkers there just to, just to have a very tiny trickle to intercept kill bots that go this way, death bots. Now, normally, you might notice that. Normally, normally, and here I just went with uh, emergency marines from the barracks. Um, normally, I upgrade armor when I go P3 Stukov. I did not do that this time because the final stage of killbots are just called killbots, and they do exactly 50 damage. If I were to upgrade my infantry armor, I would not be able to... It would take two shots for the kill bots to kill the marines, the troopers, and they would be on the field longer. So, yeah, I just want them to be one-shotted. It's not that one ar not that armor is going to do much against ac things that actually hurt, especially in this comp. Be against this comp because of Psy Storm, and I generate all these men for free. Every bunker, look at this. Like, I don't care if I lose units. Yeah. I'm definitely not never trying this with a with a commander who can't feed because killbots is stupid. Here you can see just just constantly killing units until it hits its quota then dies. Like imagine playing Protoss and needing to feed 50 times 15 minerals worth of okay. Um 15 times 50 minerals worth of worth of units per bot. So like eventually you're going to be spending upwards of 3000 minerals every time a set of kill bots spawn. And, and, oh, by the way, you can see right here I have a at least one Colossus mind controlled and it gives vision. Wait, is that actually happening? I'm not actually sure if that was happening or if it was just locking onto the hybrid nemesis instead. Now, Killbots is one of those mutators also that will cease to exist if you destroy all enemy buildings, so that's what I'm going for here. Destroying all enemy buildings regardless of, in this case, if they have power from a pylon. Seeks to 
Oh, yeah, one, two. I think that's three, four. If it's only three, that's uh, 2250 minerals I would have to spend if I ha only had workers to feed. If it was three, it is 3,000 that I need to spend. If I was playing a commander that su that doesn't that doesn't have lots of free units. Oh yeah, one, two, three, and four. Okay, I think I just sent that over there. I think I sent those guys there to make sure all buildings were dead. Oh, apparently, ah, uh, this one pylon spawned some kill bots. And now Amon very effectively spawn camping this ramp with his Colossuses. And he, yeah, here's what I was talking about earlier. Building these here just to stop anything that came that way, hopefully. Then Alexander, yep, here we go. Colossus captured and I have free vision. Anyway, get rid of this damn pylon. Actually, it was already... Okay, I guess it died from uh, plagued munitions. Anyway, that is GG for an absolutely stupid mutation. Thanks for watching. See you next time.